Back in the country for now, Prime Minister Manele described his trip to China as productive, constructive and forward-looking. Uh, in short, uh, it was a very successful uh, visit. I was accompanied by uh, 10 ministers and four other MPs, including the Minister for Foreign Affairs, the Minister for Rural Development, the Minister for Health and Medical Services, the Minister for Agriculture and Livestock, the Minister for Environment, Climate Change, Disaster Management and Meteorology, the Minister of Provincial Government and Institutional Strengthening, the Minister for Education and Human Resources Development, the Minister for Home Affairs, the Minister for Lands and Survey, the Minister for Culture and Tourism, the Deputy Chair of uh, COCUS, the MP for Central Honiara Constituency, the MP for South New Georgia, Randover Tepari, and of course the uh, Honorable MP for Lao Balelea, and senior government officials from the Office of the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and External Trade. Prime Minister Manele referred to China as a comprehensive and strategic partner, commending the high-level political relationship Solomon Islands has with China and pledging his government's commitment to the One China policy. In terms of the comprehensive and strategic relations that we have with China, uh, what it means is uh, it covers a lot of sectors and areas. And that includes the other aspect of your question the sub-national or state-to-state -state, uh, relations. So it's comprehensive. No, it's tragic. Uh, it also covers a number of sectors, uh, not only trade, but also education, for example. It covers health, for example. But also the opportunity for our provinces to partner and work closely with provinces in China. So in that sense, it's, it's broad, it's tragic. The Prime Minister expressed satisfaction with establishing sister relations with various provinces in China, emphasizing that the development aspirations of Solomon Islanders are a priority in the government's discussions in China. The sister relations, very, very important, because our sister relations, or the sister relations, is relations where provinces blame Garen uh, with them are China, not all of them at the moment, some, but we are working towards a situation that uh, all our provinces do establish sister relations uh, with uh, uh, provinces in China. The first one is uh, between Guangdong and uh, um, Gorokan province. Uh, that was created or established even before the, the switch, as you know. And then we have uh, relations now between Western province and uh, Fujian province, and uh, between Isabel province and Shandong province. And I also understand that between Malaita province and Jiangsu uh, province, they are here. And uh, uh, Ren Bell is also talking with uh, Hainan uh, province. So we would like all our provinces to establish sister relations with provinces in China. Uh, it is important not only to deepen bilateral relations at the national level, but there are also initiatives that can be undertaken at the provincial level. Cultural initiatives, for example. Education opportunities, for example. Trade and tourism opportunities, for example. So this can also be explored and uh, pursued at the state-to-state -state or province-to-province -province sister relations. Manele also expressed satisfaction with his engagements in Tokyo, Japan, during the 10th Pacific Islands Leaders' Meeting, PAM. The PAM 10 presented a significant opportunity for Solomon Islands to strengthen our relationship with Japan as a member of the Pacific Islands Forum. It also presented the opportunity to meet bilaterally with the Japanese Prime Minister uh, to discuss matters of national interest that will further strengthen our bilateral relations and ensure our national interests are advanced and protected. I also use the occasion to have bilateral meetings with several Pacific leaders and also met with the JICA president to discuss possible areas for further cooperation. Prime Minister Manila stated that he will resume his fortnightly meet the press sessions now that he is back in the country. He is expected to travel to Tonga next month for the Pacific Islands Forum meeting and has been invited to attend Papua New Guinea's independence anniversary celebrations in September as well as to attend the UN General Assembly meeting in New York. Gina Kekea, Tavoli News.